Hello everyone, and today we're going to be talking about how to reduce or remove the preprint purge on Bamboo Labs machines. First of all, sorry if I have to make some jump cuts to make some cohesive sentences. I have a script printed out to try and keep this all in order, but yeah, it's going to be hard to try and read it on my desk and then not get lost. Personally, I have a P1P. I don't know how different the A1 series printers are, but the X1, P1P, and P1S should all apply and probably any other big box style printers that they make in the future. So let's quickly recap on the issue before we go into actually fixing it. We are talking about the purge that happens at the beginning of every print. This amount can be minuscule and cost pennies by comparison if you're printing big things. But if you're doing a lot of individual parts, especially if they are smaller, then you could be wasting decent money even when using PLA. I was working on guitar picks and experimenting with modeling and 3D printing them. When you're printing a single guitar pick, the printer can be dumping almost as much plastic as it ends up printing. Other than that fact, it can just be kind of annoying and unnecessarily wasteful at times. I've heard a few reasons on why the purge happens, but typically none of them matter if you're just simply paying attention. So with all that said, let's get into the tutorial. To get started, we need to open Bamboo Studio. Nothing needs to be done on the actual printer itself. The version I'm currently using is 1.8.4.51. Keep in mind that some things may change in future updates of the program. Let's hope they don't change for the worse for some reason. Open a new project. We should currently be on the prepare section for slicing. The first button we're looking for is the extremely simplified pen and paper. It should be right next to the printer profile drop down. Additionally, it is, should be right underneath the printer tab gear. Click the pen and paper. We should start on the basic information tab. We want the machine G code tab. Now unfortunately there is no control F find function and we can't expand these menus. So we have to work with these the way they are. We want to focus on the machine start G code section right here. While hovering your cursor over the box you want to scroll down. We want to look for a line that says M412 and next to it a little ways that says turn on filament runout detection. Here it is. This is the scroll position currently in the current version, if that helps you find it. Now we want to focus on the line that says G1, E50, and F200, right here. If you want to reduce the purge amount, but still want some, you need to focus on the E value. Changing it to 25 will reduce the purge by half, but personally I use E15. If you want to get rid of the purge entirely, there are a few ways of doing that. One way is to delete the line, but I don't suggest that. It's good to keep it around, just in case. Another way is to comment out the line. Normally in programming, this would be done with forward slashes, but unfortunately it's different here. So instead of forward slashes, it's simply done with a single semicolon in front of the line. So that's the dot and the comma symbol not the dot dot symbol. Having the line commented out causes the program and the printer to skip the line while still having it written out for future reference or use. The third way, and this is the way that I personally did it, was you just simply set the E value to zero. Once you're done making the changes for the function you desire, don't hit the X button quite yet. You should save your new code as a printer profile using this floppy disk SD card icon right here. This will bring up the save menu. This is already a copy, but normally this is how it would show up for if you're just making a copy of your basic printer profile. So I'm gonna get a warning here saying that I can't use this. Uh, let's just change it like this. Make sure to click user preset if it's not already selected so that you can use this profile on all other projects. If you save it inside project, I believe it will only be able to be used in this one thing. It may not even be saved if you don't save the project. So then once you're done, you hit OK. And you can close this menu now if you don't want to make the other function as well. But as you can see, I have made mine already. So when you close this menu, it should automatically default to your newly created printer profile. If it doesn't, you can simply click on the drop down and it'll bring up a list of all your other ones. 
So just for example, we can go to no flush, which is what I would normally use. And you're ready to print without wasting unnecessarily more material than you needed to before. If you found this video informational, please click the like button. Also consider subscribing, though normally this is a music channel that focuses on guitar and drum related content. Though I do switch it up and try to provide some variety, which has been quite a bit of 3D printing lately. So if all that sounds good to you, then again, consider subscribing. That's all I have to say for now, so I'm going to say, bye bye